Here it is, the final game of the regular season, and for the first time ever, I introduce to you the number 25 ranked UTSA Roadrunners taking on the Texas State Bobcats. It's the I-35 rivalry with UTSA playing on the road and riding their five game win streak. But Texas, there are no slouches either. Six straight wins for the Bobcats as they enter the game seven and three. But UTSA is looking for their first ever double digit win season and we'll open up week 14 next. For the first time, UTSA takes the field and offense as a ranked football team number 25 in the nation after an impressive season. They'll open the game on offense. There's a handoff from Eric Hancock up the middle to Anthony Banks, a gain of maybe two. Last year, UTSA took this game 24 to 13, but both teams are much stronger this year as Hancock over the middle. He's got Whitaker close to a first down. Third and inches. Anthony Banks is the lone back and he takes the handoff up the middle and he'll power his way fighting and he will get enough yards for the first down. New set of downs for UTSA, Banks still in the game, up the gut with room, nice cut at the 45 and he has close to the first down, nine and a half yards. Coming into this game, Banks has 636 yards and three touchdowns, they're working him here early enough, another nice carry up the middle for a first down. Great job by Banks in the ground game established here early. Now Danny Moss in the game play action from Hancock. He fires and finds Jason Todd coming across the middle, a gain of nine. Twin tight ends as Banks is back in the game, second and short. Here's the give to Banks. He breaks a tackle, has the first down across the 20. First down, Roadrunners. Now two receivers left, still twin tight ends for Hancock as he will throw. It'll go outside to the end zone. Whitaker, touchdown, Roadrunners. That was very close, they say he got a foot down, and here is the replay, he makes the catch, and I'm not so sure about this one. So we're going to see a booth review to see if this was actually a touchdown, you can see he makes the catch, but I'm not sure if he got a foot down, here's the ruling. Oh my, it stands, UTSA will take the touchdown, and James Benson makes it 7-0 on a controversial touchdown to open up the game. UTSA definitely caught a break in now. Texas State playing on offense down by seven. Aaron Bryant will run option left. He pitches back to Al Britton, who's hit by Dominic Carter, and the ball shoots out. Fumble on the play. It's recovered by the Bobcats. But look at this hit by Carter. You know he's ready. The senior playing one of his final games, his last against Texas State. And now third and long for Aaron Bryant. Three wide out of the shotgun. He'll throw, and he'll fire over the middle, and Fernandez can't make the catch. Three and out for the Bobcats. Good start for UTSA, they have the ball, 3.03 to play in the first quarter. Here's the stretch play, left to Banks, he's across the 45, a gain of maybe four yards. Second down and six, two receivers left again for Hancock, from the left pass, he'll throw, caught by Whitaker underneath, called a gain of about five. Hancock, 21 touchdowns, now 22 with a Whitaker score and 11 interceptions on the season, he'll throw on first down, and it's caught by Darren Rose outside, he has the first down shy of the 20. Third down and seven for Eric Hancock. Two backs in the backfield next to him out of the gun. Taylor to his right, and Hancock will lob it outside. Randy Jones over the shoulder. Touchdown, UTSA. Hancock put that on the money. Lobbed it outside. Randy Jones, the only one that can make the play, and UTSA is now up by two touchdowns. This is the way UTSA wanted to start. 14-0 here early on the Bobcats as Al Britton takes the handoff and they'll go for the first down across the 50 and brought down in Roadrunner territory. Texas State on their six game win streak has put up 35 points a game. And so this could turn into a shootout if they get going on offense as Westbrook makes an eight yard catch. And now second down and two. Bryant takes the snap, quick throw. It's Childress, Grant Childress to the 25. First down, Texas State. Second down and 10, pistol formation this time for Aaron Bryant. And he'll throw outside, and Kyle Jones almost comes away with the interception. Third and 10, UTSA a three-man front, shotgun for Bryant. Three-man rush, and he'll go outside. Fernandez has the catch well shy of the first down, fourth and seven. Texas State is on the board of the field goal. It's 14-3 Roadrunners as Banks takes the handoff up to the 40 in open field. Across the 50, a gain of 27 in Texas State territory. Awesome start for the UTSA offense. Now an eye formation for Hancock. Under pressure early, but Whitaker is all alone over the middle. The slant is good for a first down. 5.19 to go in the second quarter, and this time it's a fullback dive to Richie Battle, catching him off guard for a solid gain of six. Can UTSA keep this up on third down and four? A single back formation, Hancock will roll out, but he's under pressure and sacked at the 31-yard line. They'll back up UTSA. 
and they'll call on the field goal unit. James Benson from about 47 or 48. Snap down, kick is up, and James Benson makes it 17 to three. The field goal is good, and we're back to a 14 point game. Texas State down 14, four and a half to go in the first half. Nice fake by Bryant. He'll keep it first down and more in the open field being chased and he's caught from behind by Dallas Johnson. At midfield after the nice run by Bryant, here's the handoff to Justin Albritton up the middle. He has the first down call at a gain of 11 yards. And Texas State getting their offense rolling. Here's Albritton again running off tackle, but this time he's set down by Buster Mitchell. Third and five. Two backs in the backfield next to Bryant out of the gun. He'll throw. Four-man rush from UTSA. Here's the throw. D.D. Westbrook over the middle as the catch of the UTSA 15. New set of downs for Texas State. And Bryant now rolling to his left. Flag down, and he's sacked by Andre Ross. But here's the penalty. Holding on the offense. A whole disaster of a play. Third and 14 now for Aaron Bryant out of the gun. And he's going to throw over the middle. And the pass is picked off by Trent McGee at the 10-yard line. A costly interception. And possible points turn into a turnover. Great play by McGee, as I'm not sure what Bryant thought he was really doing on that throw. A little over two and a half to play in the first half as Banks takes the handoff on second and one. Nice move in the backfield. He has the first down, 79 yards already for Anthony Banks. This offense has been solid in the first half. 14-point game. And Hancock back to pass, and he's under pressure. Dropped for a sack, a loss of seven. Now three wide on second down and long. Delayed hand up, it's Banks on the draw. Makes a move and a short pickup, but a flag is down, and this one could be going back even further with a holding penalty, it looks like, on UTSA. And now third and 26. Hancock will throw over the middle. It's caught by Jones, and it's a short game. They're playing the field position game now, and they'll punt. Good stop for the Texas State defense, trying to get back some momentum on their side. They're still down by 14, time to do some damage in the first half as Watkins makes the catch as Ford tried to hammer it down. Shotgun for Bryant, 90 seconds to play in the first half. He'll throw great protection, wide open as Watkins underneath in the UTSA territory first down. Averaging a little over 200 yards passing a game as Bryant as he'll throw again outside and back to Watkins, but he can't hold this one in. That's a costly drop. Third and three. UTSA showing blitz, and it's Albritton up the middle, and he has the first down, just enough a gain of maybe four. 35 seconds to play in the first half. 17-3 UTSA as Bryant throws outside, and once again Ford misses. It's caught by Westbrook, and he takes a shot from Butler, but he has the first down. Two close swats by Ford on this possession. It would be big for Texas State to cut this to a one-score game where they don't have much time left. And now Bryant, he's going to float it outside, and the pass is intercepted! In the end zone, it's Nichols! He'll return it out. 10 to the 20, makes a cut up to the 25, and brought down to the 30. But UTSA forces another red zone turnover. This time it's the senior Kyle Nichols leaping up the 6-3 corner, makes the catch in the end zone. The second pick for Bryant. And we are headed in for halftime as it's 17 to three UTSA. Little controversy on the Whitaker touchdown and two big turnovers with the Bobcats have let UTSA run away in the first half, but we'll see how the second half shapes up. That'll be right up next. From Bobcat Stadium, the I-35 rivalry, the second half is underway, UTSA up 17 to three as though Bobcats will go wildcat in the first play of the quarter and it's a disaster in the back for the loss of three. Interesting for the Bobcats to go in the Wildcat first play, but they're back to the regular offense as Bryant running option outside. It's Al Britton off the pitch, a nice run option for a gain of six. Third down and seven now for the Bobcats. You don't want to go three and out here. Bryant outside. Westbrook drops it, and I think he saw Dallas Johnson coming. His eyes were forward, and Johnson was ready to lay the big hit. Three and out for the Bobcats. We'll see if UTSA's offense is just as strong in the second half. They're going right back to the ground game, but this time Banks is snatched up in the backfield for a loss of three. And you have to figure the Bobcats really wanted to focus on stopping the run in halftime, and they're going to make some adjustments. And now Hancock outside. His pass is intercepted by Jeter Gilman in UTSA territory across the 30. And Texas State now with the turnover taking it away. Hancock wanted the outside throw to Jones, but did not lead him far enough. We'll see if the turnover was exactly what the Bobcats needed. Bryant fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it off the read option. Up the middle, a gain of seven yards. Third and short. UTSA has a four-man front, and Bryant hands off to Al Britton. To the 10, he has the first down brought down by Butler, but it's first down and goal. 
Knocking on the door, stacked backfield handoff to Al Britton running behind his blockers and he's into the end zone for a Texas State touchdown. And the game is cut to 17 to nine and now it's a one score game. Good job by Texas State to rebound and now UTSA back with the football and Banks is stopped again. It's a loss of one in the backfield. Not as much success so far in the ground for UTSA. Hancock out of the gun, play action, and he's set back at the six yard line, third and long coming up. Texas State capturing some momentum. Third down and 16 for Hancock in his own end zone right now. He's going to step up and he's sacked. Safety for Texas State. 17 to 12. A costly error for Hancock not getting out of the end zone. And now a safety punt will come up. And in the opening of the second half, the momentum has taken a complete shift. Here's Reed's safety punt. Should be good field position with Westbrook on the return. He's met by Marvin Stokes and brought down by Chris Washington. From the 36, and they're only down by five. A touchdown gives them the lead. Justin Albritton off the handoff. He breaks the tackle off the spin move, and he's shy of midfield, but he has a first down. UTSA looks to be expecting the run. Pistol formation for Bryant. Here's the fake, and Kyle Jones bit. Bryant on the run, first down and more. Across UTSA's 35-yard line and shy of the 30, but Bryant could be shaken up after that run. Now Fred Nixon in the game at quarterback for the Bobcats will update you on Bryant's injury as soon as possible as Nixon will keep it on the run and he has the first down again as Texas State's inside the red zone. And now the Bobcats have to avoid another red zone turnover. Nixon on the screen, it's caught by Davis. To the 10 he has the first down and brought down inside the five. It's a goal to go situation coming up for the Bobcats. Pistol for Nixon, two receivers on the outside. Here's the snap to Nixon, he'll throw and now he pulls it down and wants to take off up the middle. Fred Nixon into the end zone, and Texas State has their first lead of the game. And they're going to go for two to make it a field goal game. Fred Nixon trips right. He's going to roll out that way. He's taking off into the end zone. Two-point conversion. All of a sudden, 17 fast points for Texas State in the third quarter. It's 20-17 to 17 as UTSA tries to regain their momentum. It'll be third and short. And now Banks in the backfield. Behind Richie Battle, here's the handoff. Up the middle, he has the first down across the 45, and the chains will move. UTSA really needs to answer with the score on this possession. Second down and seven, here's the pressure. Ball is loose as Hancock is sacked, but Anthony Tatum recovers. And now it's gonna be third and long. They need 17 yards. Three receivers right, four wide set for Hancock out of the shotgun. Rolling to his right, and now he fires to an open man, and Robert Stanley was out of bounds. Incomplete pass. The Bobcats have all the momentum and they have the lead playing on offense now. Fred Nixon will take the snap and roll to his left. Good coverage and Brandon Ford will wrap him up for a one yard sack. Nearing the end of the third quarter, pistol formation for Nixon. It's Justin Albritton breaking the tackle of Carter but then he's wrapped up by A.J. Brown. UTSA's defense trying to get off the field. Nixon on third and 11. He'll move right now, fire to the sideline and overthrow his target. Big three and out for the Roadrunner defense. And the Bobcats will punt inside their own 10 yard line. Here's the kick and back deep is Vince Taylor. This could be good for UTSA. He's got open field on the left. Running that way across midfield. 40 to the 30 and brought down shy of the 25 with a great return by Vince Taylor. UTSA cannot get knocked out of field goal range on this possession. It's second down and long. And Hancock under pressure quickly and his throw over the middle is incomplete. Now a big third and 16. It's about a 48, 49 yard field goal from this point. And Hancock with good protection. He dumps it off to Anthony Banks. He'll get a few yards and set up the field goal attempt. About a 45 yard attempt to tie the game for James Benson. Snap down and the kick is up and it banks it again for the second week in a row. James Benson rocks it off the right upright and UTSA ties the game at 20 with just under seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here's a look one more time as it banks in good. And we have a tie game here at Bobcat Stadium. 20 to 20, six and a half minutes to go in the I-35 rivalry. A great game here this afternoon as Fred Nixon will keep it and he has the first down at the 40 yard line. And it looks like we'll not see Aaron Bryant again this afternoon. He's left the game with back spasms. He will not return as Nixon is met by Kyle Jones this time. You have to respect the speed of Nixon and Kyle Jones was in the spy on that last down and now third and seven, the blitz not getting to him all day. Wide open is Fernandez and he drops the pass close to the first down marker and it's a three and out again. Back to back three and outs for the Bobcat offense and now UTSA has the football with the tie game. They're in the driver's seat, handoff banks and he has the nice cut to the outside into the open field across the 50 and down in Bobcat territory. 
excellent day on the ground for Banks overall. Not as much success in the second half. And now Hancock, he shakes the sack and fires. And the pass is intercepted. It's caught by Cutler. And Hancock misses the tackle. Cutler in the open field. Oh my goodness, Cutler. Pick six. And Texas State has taken the lead on the Eric Hancock interception. He was the man who had the only shot at tackling him. And you can see him panic and then find Danny Moss, but Moss goes to the outside of Cutler, and therefore the pass is intercepted, and Cutler goes to the house. A costly error, and now UTSA is down by seven. Four and a half minutes to play, and Vince Taylor can't get out of his own backfield, a loss of one. From under center, it's second down and ten. Twin tight ends for Hancock. Slant is caught by Robert Stanley over the middle, a nice catch, and will be good enough for the first down. That was a big first down by Stanley, and now it's first down and 10. Hancock back to the outside. Wide open is Tim Whitaker in Bobcat territory. Good job by UTSA rebounding so far. Here's Moss in the handoff. Nice juke to the inside, and he's close to the 30-yard line. UCSA needs a touchdown. A field goal does them no good on this drive. As Hancock hits the throw off barely, he was pressured quickly off the edge. And facing a huge third down. Split shotgun for Eric Hancock, two receivers left. Here's the snap, he'll throw quickly. Outside, caught by Randy Jones. First down, as Eric Hancock has broken Eric Souza's single season passing record. First and 10 for UTSA. Hand off to Moss, spin move to evade the defender. Across the 10, a gain of five. Within 10 yards of tying this game up, I formation, hand off to Danny Moss. Up the middle, there's the power through the first down marker, first down and goal. And now I have formation, Vince Taylor behind Richie Battle. Hancock, hands off of the gut, and Vince Taylor ties it up pending the extra point, and UTSA has come back from the pick six to make it 27-26, and now here's the extra point. James Benson to make it 27-27, here's the extra point, it's up, it's good, tie game. A very exciting second half has led to a tie game here with under a minute and a half left to play. Fred Nixon still in the game, he'll lob outside, and his pass is intercepted! Jason Holmes, he got it! Interception for UTSA, and they're going to take over the short field. Nixon wanted the out, and Jason Holmes was all over it, and UTSA will take over. The offense is back out, a minute 21 to play. Danny Moss up the middle, not much room, maybe a gain of one. UTSA running this clock down, they may trust their kicker to win this. Hand off to Moss, going back to the inside, a gain of five. And now third and four, 18 seconds remain. Hand off Danny Moss, spin move, close to the first down marker, and it's fourth down and inches. And now it could be time for Benson. And Benson is out as the Bobcats use their timeout to ice the UTSA kicker. And now for the winner, James Benson from 37 yards out. Snap down, kick is up, and the I-35 rivalry is won by the UTSA Roadrunners. They knock off the Bobcats 30 to 27 here on the road as UTSA wraps up the regular season 10 and 2. The first double-digit win season in UTSA football history as the Roadrunners win their third straight game in the I-35 rivalry. 30 to 27 this time in Bobcat Stadium. It was a very hard fought win by the number 25 ranked team in the nation, and UTSA now has set up themselves to play in the Conference USA Conference Championship. This game was not in conference. They've already wrapped up conference play. They finished with one loss, and UTSA will indeed represent the West in the Conference USA title game against the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles, and in case you need your memory refreshed, UTSA is now on a six game win streak. The last team to knock them off, you guessed it, Southern Mississippi. The rematch for the conference championship is up next. UTSA going for their first ever Conference USA title. This is gonna be very exciting. Thank you for watching everybody. UTSA victorious in week 14 over Texas State, and the Conference USA championship game is next. Have a great day, we'll see you then.